black woman calls me madam. And I say, but please don't call me Sue or call me mayor or something of this kind. But I think it's quite difficult. They're so used when they see a white face to saying madam uh, that it's really difficult for them to change. They do change. I remember a guy in Pretoria telling me that um, all whites see blacks as domestic workers and all blacks see whites as policemen. I think it's, it's very difficult to ask white madams to talk about their maids. It's almost like asking them to talk about what happens behind their bedroom doors. Yes. It's such an intimate relationship and I have met very few white madams who are honest about the working conditions and pay that they give to their black maids. Evelyn, I'll take this out of here if you can just put those two in here, please. An Afrikaans-speaking woman, who was really very sympathetic to what I was going to do, said, you know, you're going to get into a lot of trouble because when you talk about domestic workers, you're really coming into the bedroom. We've been sitting around here talking about maids, but this, of course, is terribly unusual because most people talk about the girl, the girl or the boy, although in many cases the girl or the boy is older than the madam. And I think this just really reflects their attitude towards their black employers, that they are not adults. They're consigned to perpetual immaturity and perpetual inferiority. Today is Monday first day of the week, so I do washing. On Monday, I do the washing. I start doing the washing when I come in in the morning. Monday, I do washing and ironing. Tuesday is an ironing day. Tuesday, carpet clean. Everything's inside and outside. Wednesday, you sort of, you sort of tot up the house because it hasn't been looked after for the first two days of the week. And then I do the ironing and then I do the supper, and on Wednesday I go to church. Then Thursday is a day off. Thursday is my baking day. Then Friday is more like spring cleaning. Friday is very, very busy. Then Saturday you do more tidying than anything else, and then in the afternoon you sort of have a break. So I don't do the washing on Saturday, I do the house. Saturday is my day off. Saturday, family come again. And then Sunday, you sort of make big dinner because it's more like feasting day <laughs> for Europeans. <laughs> and now this has been my routine for 34 years, 52 weeks in a year. 